and today we're in my kitchen and we are making my spicy ginger scallion egg drop soup with spiralized zucchini. And this is by far one of my most successful and popular recipes on my blog and in my cookbook. Everyone loves it. It's full of immunity boosting ginger, lots of scallions, and it's that classic Chinese egg drop soup that's really, really comforting. And then of course we have those perfectly crunchy al dente zucchini noodles. First, let me go through and show you what we need for this recipe. So this portion only serves one, so we're actually gonna use half of a zucchini, and we're gonna use that for the spiralizer, of course. We need one egg, which we're gonna beat later, and then a tablespoon of oil. I chose sesame because I like the sesame flavor, but if you like coconut oil or whatever your favorite oil is, you can use that. Then we have about a tablespoon of soy sauce. We have two teaspoons of sherry vinegar for that bite. We have some red pepper flakes to make it spicy, and then plenty of scallions, and I've divided them between white and green, and then we have a tablespoon of ginger. And if you're sensitive to ginger, you could lighten this up a bit, only use a teaspoon or two, but if you like ginger, add more. And then we have two cups of vegetable broth, and then just half a cup of water to cut that uh, saltiness. Now that we have all our ingredients, we're ready to start the recipe, and the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our zucchini to be spiralized. So I'm just gonna cut the ends off flatly and evenly. And like I said, we're gonna only use half of this zucchini. So if you have a smaller zucchini, just use the whole, but since this is kind of a large zucchini, we're gonna just use half of it. And I'm gonna set my cutting board aside here and grab my Inspiralizer. So whatever spiralizer you're using, you're gonna wanna use the spaghetti blade, so the thinnest blade on the spiralizer. This is the Inspiralizer, of course, so they're labeled on the side here, A, B, C, and D. I'm just gonna secure this nice and firmly to the countertop, and then I'm gonna change my blade to D, and I'm gonna grab a pleat here to catch the noodles. And now all we have to do is center the zucchini on the spiralizer, press firmly in to secure, and then the magic begins, <laughs> the spiralizing, and we're gonna have those beautiful noodles. And what's great about this soup is it's totally versatile, so if you're making this in the winter time, when zucchinis aren't really abundant, you could use daikon radish, you could use turnips, anything like that. It's just the broth that you really, really wanna get well. Okay, so now that we have that, we are ready to make the soup. Now we're gonna build our soup, and we're gonna start with some sesame oil, and as I said before, you can use any oil that you prefer. I have a medium sauce pot heating over about medium high heat, so I'm just gonna pour that in. I'm doing a tablespoon, and again, this is sesame. It's a bit hot, let me lower it. Now that we have the oil in, we're gonna add in the white scallions and the ginger. And I'm also gonna add in a little pinch of red pepper flakes, and if you're sensitive to spice, you can just end here with that little pinch, but I'm actually gonna add in some more pepper flakes in the end of the recipe. I'm gonna take my spoon here and just stir until that ginger is really fragrant. Um, make sure, obviously, not to brown it, but ginger doesn't brown that easily, so you should be okay. And then those scallions are gonna start to soften a little bit, and that's really gonna start the flavor of this soup. And while that is happening, I'm actually going to whisk my egg. So I'm gonna take the bowl here, push my noodles to the side, and just crack the egg in, and you're gonna take a fork and just whisk. Grab my fork here. And so this is gonna basically make that egg drop soup that you get when you're sick. It's really comforting, and obviously it's a little extra boost of protein. Okay, so I'm gonna set that back aside over here. And now that these scallions and ginger are nice and cooked, we are going to add in our broth. So I have two cups of vegetable broth here, and then I have a half a cup of water just to kick off a little bit of that salt. Okay, and then I have a tablespoon of soy sauce, and then two teaspoons of sherry vinegar. And now I'm gonna just raise the heat a little bit and bring this to a boil, and I'll give it a little stir. And you could also add in some ground white pepper, that would be really nice as well. You could kind of just add anything that you'd prefer taste-wise. Okay, so we're gonna just wait until that boils, and then the last thing to do is just add in those noodles. Now that our soup is brought to a boil, we can whisk in that egg, which will give it that egg drop soup part of the meal. So I'm just gonna stir this and start sort of a little circular motion, and then just slowly drip that egg in there. 
and you want it to basically look really wispy. So I'm just going to keep stirring. Just a medium speed, you don't need to go really, really fast. And you'll see those beautiful wisps in there. Okay, and at that point we can add in the zucchini noodles. Give it that extra surge of vegetables. And I'm going to stir those in and just lower the heat a little bit. And it's only going to be about two minutes to let these soften. So now that the zucchini noodles are in, I'm going to add in the rest of the scallions. And this is a half a cup of diced scallions, so if you don't really love scallions, you could do less. But this is actually a recipe that was inspired by a dish I had on one of my first dates with my husband. We went to Momofuku and we had a ginger scallion noodle bowl, obviously with real noodles, but it was amazing, so I wanted to recreate it. There you go. And then I'm just going to add in that extra pinch of red pepper flakes. And like I said before, if you do not like spice, don't skip this step, but I love spice. And this will definitely clear your senses, your senses and your sinuses. And this will definitely clear your sinuses and will fill you up and it's just, it's just a great soup to have on hand. And I think that's why it's one of my most popular recipes. Our beautiful ginger scallion egg drop soup is done and I'm just going to carefully pour it into this bowl right here. Gorgeous. Ah, oh, spilt a little. <laughs> this looks so delicious. All right, we have our beautiful soup here with zucchini noodles, and you see those lovely egg wisps. It smells salty. It has that umami flavor, if you will. And I love the color with the red pepper flakes, and I know they're going to be nice and spicy. So that is all there is to it. It's a super light soup, really filling, and it's perfect for one of those cold winter days. Okay, now for the best part, I'm just going to take a little twirl here of the zucchini noodles and I just realized that I forgot to trim my noodles which I'm not going to redo this video <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that after you spiralize it's really crucial to trim your noodles with some kitchen shears so that when you go to eat they're not <laughs> this long but I'm going to work with what I have mmm it's spicy the zucchini noodles give it that nice crunch so you feel like you're eating something really filling, which you are. You just taste that broth. Ah, and the wispy eggs, it's just, ah, it's amazing. It's such a great dish. It's one that you can make all the time really quickly, and I hope you love it as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you loved the recipe, and if you'd like to see more recipes like this one in the future with my Everyday Inspiralized series, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.